welcome back to this, that, or whatever, and today we have a guest. Sincere Brown. Woo! Thank y'all so much for having me. No problem, no problem. So today we're getting on the topic of bullying. What do you think about bullying? Um, I want to start off with saying I think um, bullying is lame, but I think that there are definitely uh, different perspectives of bullying, such as cyberbullying, in-person bullying. But I say overall, I see no point in um, bullying. I don't feel it. I don't understand why people do it. Oh, so you going for that Gandhi style? No need yeah, for bullying. Like, no, Let, let's talk it out. Yeah, let's like there's no out. need for bullying. Like if there's something that you don't like with somebody else, it's not. It doesn't have to be known, you know, or you don't have to go and pick on them about it. You understand what I'm saying? Are there, have there Facts. ever Facts. been any cases where y'all have come in encounter with bullying? I have. I've been called trans before. I've been told that when I had one of my girlfriends, her friend kept on bullying me saying, um, she do, you don't deserve her. And it was just a lot of bullying and all that stuff. But and it made me kind of feel kind of weak in the moment. Mm -hmm. So I talked to someone and it kind of helped. Like my mom, I talked to her and it made me get through it. It helped me get through it. What about you? Hmm. Any time that you've been bullied? You're just too cool? You, you just don't get yeah. bullied? Yeah. You're Lonnie. What can they say about you? So like any time you were bullied though, how, how did it make you feel within yourself? Like how did you handle it within yourself? Well, I couldn't at the moment. I was just, it's how I was taught emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's like a dude calling me trans. Mm -hmm. That's what started me really understanding emotional intelligence. My mom helped me understand it more though and greater. And mm -hmm. that's how I was able to deal with it myself. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. What about you? Dope. Yeah, people like go into the comments and be saying mean stuff about me. So, the cyberbullying. Yeah, basically. How does it make you feel? Yeah, it made me feel annoyed because they say that like all the time, and like same thing for crushes too. Like if if um if if I am doing a contact with another boy, they're gonna be like, oh, there's a new boy. You have a new boyfriend. Blah 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 blah. Mm, yeah. Things of that nature. They do say that a lot about her. I've been looking in the comments. That yeah. really sucks. Does that does that ever throw off like your work ethic? Cause I know well. Oh no. Okay, I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. Well, never mind. I'm, yeah. You answered that question. Okay, that's Don't good. Her. Don't affect her. That's, that's really good. That's really good. That's cool. That's cool. So there's never been like a time where you've seen something in the comments and you've like let it get to your head or like you it actually made you feel some type of way or you just ignore all of it. Um. So sometimes I ignore all of it, but one. I didn't because I was like, because they said, when one kid said my videos were cringe, I was like, maybe they are. Mm. Well, and why I was, still let you, why still let that But I didn't. You? Well, then why do you have to second guess yourself? Maybe they are. Why'd you say that? Oh, uh, because I was like, maybe they are, but. Oh, well. That's right. Okay. This is a good topic to speak on. Do y'all ever, because <clears throat> for the stuff that um, we're doing, like we're entertainers, actors, actresses. We have a lot of stuff that we have on our plate. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of kids who do the stuff that we do. Do y'all ever feel like the stuff that, we, well, no. Well, actually, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask both of y'all. The stuff that you're doing, if it is cringy in a sense, do you feel like that? makes the content better or attracts more attention yeah okay i feel like it does because like think about it as one person watches this they're like oh this is really really cringy but everybody else is like that's not what i was gonna say <laughs> that's not what i was gonna say wait till we get out wait till we get out here you gonna beat him up who are you gonna so violent? you bullying there we go, people. <laughs> there we go. An act of violence. She said she would beat me up once we leave here. Bully. It's not my fault. Yeah, she don't care. Lonnie, 
Do you think? That's just think? not my problem. problem. Problem not my problem. You better not be singing nothing. Uh -oh. Problem not my problem. What did I do? That's I feel like the difficulties of being a child actor are there are a lot of kids in mm -hmm. this industry. There's a lot of adults, but I feel like there's maybe not as much as children are trying to mm -hmm. be an actor. And so it really helps. With, well, no, it doesn't. It um, It's really competitive mm -hmm. as you're always trying to get a role and another person and another person and all that is making your chances less and less and yeah. it's getting you less jobs all the way through. So when it comes to... I'll ask both of y'all this. When it comes to like a gig or like a job that do you really want to book? Do you are you ever in your head about it? Because you know that there's other, there are various kids who want the same thing or uh, with anything. Are you ever nervous with achieving your goal? Because you know there's always another kid who's working hard for that same thing or probably even harder. So yeah, I get scared sometimes because if if I really want to be in that movie, it's it's kind of scary because there might be other actors that. Um, can do a bit better than me. Okay. I always just don't care. I was taught by my coach. Whenever you do, well, Coach Sky, make sure you go check her out. Um, you know, I got a plug. But um, she taught me that whenever you do an audition, mm -hmm. boom, that's it. If you get the job, hooray. But forget the audition because if you don't get it, it won't affect you. So once you do an audition. Look for, look ahead, not mm -hmm. behind on what you've done. That's good. I like that. Some cons of being a child actor is, um, well, with me that I face with myself is always comparing myself to um, other kids and always wanting to be better. Has there ever been a time where the attention has, the attention from what y'all do, have y'all ever felt like it was too much? Not really. I've been really getting... Like, people saying they want pictures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I've only gotten, like, a little few. I feel like she could really talk about this, though. Yeah, because you're the most famous. Whenever we're people. whenever we're hanging out, we've, like, gone to the park and stuff. We've gone to, like, urban air, like, trampoline places. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we go, picture, picture, picture. So, what, what's, what's your perspective? Does it ever get too much for you? Like, too much pictures? Too much fame? Yeah. How do you handle it? I don't know how I handle it. I just handle it. It was a lot of people saying, oh, you're filming with Lonnie Love. Oh, you're filming with Lonnie Love. You got to take pictures. You got to do this. You got to, like, like basically use you to get more followers and all that stuff on my mm -hmm. page. And I was like, no, I don't want to because this girl is really nice. And we started playing a balloon game on set, remember? when we let, like You started playing a balloon game? Yeah, we would, like, play keep the balloon in the air. And that's how keep we really became... Keepy Uppy, that's how I what she calls it. I want different Bluey. She, that's what she calls it, Keepy Uppy from Bluey. I, it's called that. It's called Keepy Uppy. I've never heard of that, but it, a, you it, got, it did, you it did look fun on set. Yeah, and like, uh -huh. that's how we really became friends. We would just like start playing around and stuff and until I realized she's a really cool girl and I don't want to like use her for fame and mm -hmm. clout and all that stuff. So I, just, I feel like that's... Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You're fine. I feel like that's another con with... Um, being a child actor, just like the attention that it brings, because mind you, <clears throat> we're all still kids, but we just have so much attention on us to where it can become overwhelming. Like, is there ever like a time where, you know, you may not be in the mood, but you still have to force yourself to to obtain the image just because like, you know, what you want to be in like in the future? Yes, I feel like that almost not all the time, but like a good amount of the mm -hmm. time where like, it's just like, all right, it is a little bit hard at this moment, but once you get a little bit, you know, in there, it won't be as bad. You just yeah. have to get through this little hard part. So, what about you? Have you ever felt like, have you felt, have it felt, ooh, I cannot get that word out. <laughs> Has it felt hard for you to get through this phase of your life as an actor? Yeah, it's like, it's hard because people knows me from all around the world and it's hard to get a, like an acting job and stuff. As a child actor and actress, what's what, what's y'all favorite thing about it? Like, let me know that. What's y'all favorite oh, thing about it? Okay, okay. 
I got a whole paragraph, but I'll just say one thing. I just no, 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 no. Speak on the speaker because I actually want to know. All right. Well, I really like that it's not work. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's not just me doing this so I can get popular, fame, money. I don't want all that. I want to have fun. I want to have a job that actual actually entertains me while I entertain people. That's so, dope. Yeah. What about you, Lonnie? Uh, I like going on set. I have to go on set Wednesday for the horror movie again. Dope, dope, um, dope. I have to go on set, and it's really fun. I make a lot of friends. Actually, I don't even make that. I don't even make that much friends. <laughs> I only got like three, four. Uh, that's still, the, that's that's still only, good. That's the only ones I need. I, I forgot to add that. I do get a lot of friends on the way. I just made a friend from um, one of the things I just did, like a Rod Wave music video for his oh. new album. I made a friend. Do you have to go back on? I know. No, it was a quick little thing, but, you know, I was still there, so you so, might see me. I don't like speaking on it, but... Just know that's one that's one of the main things I don't like about being an actor, like the attention that it brings and how people try and hold it over my head or like use it against me and they try to make it make it sound like I think I'm special just because I'm on TV when in actuality I think I'm the same as everybody else. Just with like one benefit. Just, I'm an yeah, actor. I'm an actor. That's the only thing. Like we we all have the same purpose. We are the same twenty four hours in a day. We're all human. We all bleed the same color. Like there's nothing different between me and you except the uh things that we do throughout our days in a sense and stuff like that. So that's one of the main things I really don't like or like that makes me think about when it comes to um being a child actor. It's just like the attention that it brings. So like I can't really speak on like the um cyberbullying and stuff like that. Or I can but I don't take it serious enough to where I say it's bullying. Like, if somebody makes fun of the stuff I do, I just laugh. Like, it's just funny. But um, I definitely say the attention is definitely the uh, main thing I don't like about being a child actor. I want to add one thing. Mm -hmm. It's that, you know, I have a YouTube with TikTok, all that stuff, mm -hmm. and Instagram, It because it helps with the acting career. Mm -hmm. People use that against me a lot. And I mean, like, they're always saying, is this you? Your videos are so cringe. And they pull up the video, like, immediately in the middle of class while I'm talking to them. And like, is this you? Ha, 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 ha. Look at this dance. Ha, ha. It's all that. And it's like, why are you pulling up that? It's not like, that's kind of dirty, though. Because, mm -hmm. like, you're pulling up stuff that I have, but I don't have anything of you. Yeah. I can't do anything. I can't do I anything. I can't do anything. It's stuff like, I've, so you, I'm not the only person who experienced that. There's been you're times not. where I've been, I'm in class and people, like, come up to me random people especially in high school because high school is so many people it's um i'm literally walking in the halls and like a random person to come up to me and be like oh you're this kid you're this kid you're this kid yes and i'm like yeah that's me um is there something you want like yeah, like you want, you want like, my autograph or like, something you want, like a conversation <laughs> like we could talk like you want to be friends okay cool but like yeah. it's just times where people come up to me and like they just come at me laughing and i don't really let it phase me because like I don't care enough to let it phase me, but it's just I don't understand like why is it funny? I know, like, like I'm doing my career. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing what doing I love most. I love, but yeah. I feel like people are gonna be people. They're not gonna they don't see it how we see it. That's probably why some people see the stuff that we do is like cringy in a sense, but for us we're just doing, we're just having fun. Yeah, we're just having fun. But other people see it as cringy. But I say at the overall topic, that's one of the main thing main things I don't like about being I'm not gonna say don't like. But main obstacle I face with being a child actor. They, but the, the main stuff I do like is just seeing my mom and dad happy. That's, that's what I love the most. No matter how much stuff I go through mentally with acting or just my everyday life, I say like as long as my, as long as my parents are smiling, I'm smiling. I like so seeing people happy in general. Just yeah. like good deeds. It, mm -hmm. it makes me, it makes my heart go like really warm and like kind of glow out. I could definitely agree like, with that. Like it's kind of like seeing a little kid just start smiling mm -hmm. out of nowhere. That can make my heart just melt into mm -hmm. pieces. Because that's, that's one thing I love. I like seeing smiles. Like when um little kids notice me, like when people my age notice me, it's like, okay, it's cool or whatever. People that's older, they notice me. I'm like, okay, it's cool. But like when younger kids, like when I went back to my old school and I did a tour around like my old school and like all the younger kids were just so excited to see me. That It's that like they're made, looking up to you. Yeah, that was like the um that was like the most happy I was 
being noticed because it's like it's not coming from like somebody who's my age like 17 or like an adult you know it's coming from a kid and like from that standpoint it's like they're looking up to me they're idolizing you yeah and it seems like that and there's been times where um i've had to do like um acting gigs and like parents would come up to me and like hey like i um i really enjoy your craft and my child actually looks up to you i'm like what like so i'm like how old is your kid oh they're 15. Dude, I'm 17. Like, I have a 15 year old looking up to me. Like, that's so cool. So, that's another thing I really love about um, being a child actor is being an influence and an inspiration to like people that's younger, younger than me. That's another cool thing. I'm not fully there yet, but there, there's been a few like, like in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Well, not in fifth grade. I was in sixth grade chilling, and it was that it it was in that fifth grade like tour where they Mm -hmm. they tour like the school I was in to see if they'll like like this middle school mm-hmm. and I was looking at all these little kids and they were like pointing at me like wait you're you're um you're Jojo so smooth I'm like yeah how do you how do you know me they're like I watch your YouTubes I watch um I watch how you like you collab with Lonnie Love I'm like whoa oh okay this is nice to meet you and, th- and it's just cool because like they might be like a year younger than me but that's still like something you know mm-hmm. it's like they still idolize me in a way. That's dope, like, Lonnie. So cool. That's dope. That's dope, Lonnie. I have a huge question for you, cause mm-hmm. you're the youngest out of all of us. But Lord knows you, you popping, you popping, popping. Mm-hmm. So like for you, how is it like being such a huge inspiration or such a huge topic on people that's your age? Cause how how old are you? Nine and a half. Nine, nine and she a half. She had to add the half. Nine and a half. My birthday's in two weeks. That's dope. That's dope. Well, happy birthday. Well, in the coming sense. Wait, we're all birth- cancers. Right? When's your birthday? July 12th, but I'm having it on July 6th. Mine's the 19th. 13th. 13th. That's dope. That's dope. We're all but cancers. You being nine and a half years <laughs> old, how is it to like know that there's so many people who who finds joy in watching your videos? It was good because I like making YouTube videos mm-hmm. and I like making YouTube videos and pranks and stuff. So it feels good that people watch it because if I wouldn't have anything for if it wasn't for my fans and stuff. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's, That's true. I absolutely love that. I love that. Thank you, Sincere, for coming. It was Man, nice. It's like thank y'all so, so much for having me. Y'all are like the siblings. I'm so happy I don't have. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely love y'all. Nah, Man, that's crazy. I absolutely that's love crazy. y'all. <laughs> Josiah, you my dog. You know that. You know, you Lonnie, you. Lonnie, you know I love you. You like my little sister. Sometimes I wish you actually were my little sister. You so dope. And Josiah, man, y'all are popping, like seriously, like not even no joke. I want to give a huge congratulations to y'all because y'all are doing y'all thing. I can't stop seeing you on my Instagram. You know it. And you know it. my little cousins can't stop texting me about you. So I just want to give a huge congratulations to everything that y'all are doing, y'all future. And I just want to thank y'all so much for having me here. It was a good time, good topics that we talked about, and hopefully we can do this all again. Anytime, no problem. Yeah. Thank I y'all. See you. Well, that's how we end it, folks, and see you later. Peace. Peace.